talk right here to our 13 year old reporter, the youngest reporter in the room, and we're going to give her the time that she needs. That's not fair. <laughs> With so many young people eligible to vote in the 2020 election and their main concern is the climate crisis, why are you really, truly best for the job? Because I know that this is an existential uh, crisis in our country, not 10 years or 25 years from now. It's affecting communities right now. Temperatures going up. As a guy who lives in a vulnerable inner city community, it is exacerbating asthma rates and other respiratory diseases. I visited with vulnerable communities like a Native American community in Louisiana who's already being evacuated because of sea level rise. Uh, I feel an urgency on this issue every single day because I know it's going to hurt the most vulnerable populations in our country first, and they're already feeling that pain. And so I, I know that the people that are going to shape though this fight will be young people, whether they can vote or not. This is a fight that we all must be a part of. And I believe I'm the best person, not just to fight this fight, but to excite and energize more unity in this fight so it becomes not a partisan fight, uh, but a national cause that we not only deal with this issue in our country, but lead the planet in getting uh, this crisis uh, something for the history books and not for our future. I gotta go to a fellow ball guy first. What's up? Where are you on guns? And where you, where you? Where are you on whether or not you confiscate automatic weapons? You know that, that the word confiscation is a word that Republicans use to try to scare a gun owner. Uh, we had a nation that in the 1980s said that we are no longer going to have machine guns. Uh, we don't have machine guns anymore. We did it successfully. If you look around at other countries uh, that realize that these assault weapons or weapons of war that were in the theater of war, they found constructive ways to get them off of our streets. Let's stop the fear mongering. Let's make sure that we, our nation, that does not allow weapons of war into our communities. Certainly, the way we're seeing right now with the recent mass shootings um, with agonizing regular. I promise you that you're right here. 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 Right this party and the focus on beating Donald Trump. I'm hoping people who believe in me in my election, especially after what you saw tonight, go to CoreyBooker.com and make it. You too. Are you Corey confident that Joe Biden has what it takes to take on Trump? I'm, I'm running because I think I'm the best person to take on Donald Trump. Uh, I think I'm better than Joe Biden, else I wouldn't be in this picture.